Hello, and welcome to our first long video in a while. We want to do some more challenges and things in the future, so what better place to start than with a build challenge that is nearly impossible, but not quite. So you've all seen something like this before, probably. The challenge is to build a fully functional house within five minutes. So I'm thinking decorated, all doors, windows, rooms painted, and furnished with everything a sim could reasonably survive on. So things like a bed, full bathroom, a bin, kitchen, I like how I thought of a bin before a kitchen, you know where the food is. There's no money limit or anything because quite frankly I have enough problems to deal with already without worrying about money. Also I'm thinking of making this for one sim purely because I think it'll have to be a fairly small house in order to get it done in the time limit and I don't have room for several bedrooms. So without further ado I suppose I should start building this five minute house and hope that it's possible. I think it's possible. Should be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, so my plan here is, well, I don't have one, but I'm thinking small with what in England we would describe as a carport just to make it interesting or maybe, maybe I'm just making it hard on myself. Who knows? I kind of really want this indented window type thing um, and I really love how these uh, platforms look over the top when you just fill in a gap and connect the house like that so I think that would be really interesting. There's obviously uh, the centre point of a layout but also a pane so I'm going to curve these ones around I think just to make uh, less space and also make it look more fun. Um, it'll be more interesting when I put the furniture in I think that way. Okay now we're looking for a door. This is my favourite door I think of the um, the cheaper ones. Also I just really, I really liked uh, Eco Living for windows and doors. Just really good for cheap windows and doors and also these um, snowy escape ones are pretty nice too but I don't have time to change them so everywhere is getting this one window though so that that there can probably do with having the longer windows but uh, never mind. I think I'm skipping windows on this side I don't know why I never put them there. Um, these I'm just placing anywhere <laughs> just <laughs> throw them on the back they'll look fine I guess I should put on all the wallpaper. I don't know if this is cheating, but everywhere is getting pretty much the same wallpaper outside, even though it would be more interesting to put uh, different ones elsewhere. Hallway and living room also getting the white neutral look because I like that anyway. Um, that's probably what I would have done anyway, but I don't have time to change anything. So, and also everywhere is getting the same floor. I don't think I have time to do this but I also think it's be really interesting just have this like outside bit. I I've seen them here I think a little bit. They they tend to have like bins in them just to sort of hide them away from the front of the house and, and things. I just you know it, it would act as a bit of a garage I guess rather than anything else or a, a shed and uh, yeah, everywhere, again, cheating, probably, but everywhere's getting the same floor. Um, I like this floor, it's nice, it's probably my favourite floor, so um, everywhere can have this floor. Uh, getting these like different colour swatches is a little bit of a pain. Um, I guess I should actually do the wallpaper, considering I said I would do the wallpaper about five minutes ago. Well, not five minutes ago, but you know. Probably my favourite wallpaper for bedrooms is that dark blue one. I think that's everything done. Now onto the furniture. I've got uh, two minutes. That's not too bad, actually. Um, I thought I'd be doing much worse than this. I think I'm going to have that kitchen. I'm going to have the kitchen in the corner. And I think TV, sideboard, probably. Like, I know this isn't necessary for survival. That's on terribly, whatever. Um, but I think most houses would be a little bit incomplete without a TV these days, so uh, TV is going in. Really basic white, white kitchen, uh, very small, very cramped, not a great kitchen, but they'll have to deal with it until they can upgrade their house, I guess. Um, microwave, don't know if that's essential, but um, do I have time? I have time to put it in, so it's going in. Really basic bedroom. <laughs> no offense is really annoying for mine. I really love this uh, 
this wardrobe that they put in by uh, I think it's Peacemaker is that one by I don't know um one of the CC creators that they uh, they included in the game which was a really nice touch really great to see them do that I don't know if they'll do it again but I would really appreciate some more CC in here it's just nice to see them including the community a bit more and like what they can add to the game um really basic bathroom just throwing stuff at the walls now <laughs> 32 seconds um, I don't know if I'm gonna get any time. I kind of want to put a bench here, but like that's not the bench I want. But I don't have time to change it. That's the bench I'm getting. And then a bin, of course. Uh, I said the bin and then forgot it, but never mind. Um, I, mean, I know that'll come on a lot anyway, but I really just like these snowy escape ones because this is a really weirdly placed house. I uh, want to put a sunbed or something just to make the most of that view because the windows are mostly on the front. Oh, time up. Yeah, I've forgotten the trim, but never mind. Um, I think I forgot the one thing to colour the, the platforms in the same colour as the walls, but... Oh, I also forgot lights, so... Um, yeah, good luck seeing. I do that in all of my houses, I just forget that Sims need light, because... Or well, they don't, they're not real. Sorry, they're not real. Yeah, I don't think I've done too bad. I probably would have put a bin over in this corner, uh, an indoor bin, so they don't have to go all gay putting that where it should be. Um, yeah, I don't think I did too bad. I think it's alright. You can do it. You can do a house in five minutes, but it, I mean, it's not the best house I've ever built, but it, I mean, it'll work. Um, don't look at the back. The back is very shocked, apparently. Also, forget having a garden or landscaping or anything, but I guess if your lot looks like this then you wouldn't really need landscaping. You could just walk off down the beach there and it would be fine. So if you made it this far, thank you very much. Sam and I just wanted to say thank you for watching and for 500 of you for subscribing. We know it's nothing compared to some channels on here, but we're so proud of what we're doing and so, so glad you decided to watch. I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you. When we started, I had never even put together a YouTube video before. So seeing that 500 of you have subscribed and seeing all the likes our videos have been getting has been very heartwarming. Going forward, you can expect more Sims tips and tricks, but we're also brainstorming more ideas to fit both shorts and regular video formats. So if you have any ideas for us, please leave them in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoy what we're doing, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.